Hello, and welcome to 5 Facts about DHCP, a virtually unknown but quite crucial service for modern networks. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. It was originally defined in 1993 and now can be found in just about any type of network. From our homes to internet service providers, this unassuming service is providing devices with the parameters they need to connect and share information on a network. So, what are these parameters? Networks today, including the internet, run in a suite of protocols which has existed since the 1980s, known as TCP IP. For a device to connect a TCP IP network, it must first possess what is called network configuration parameters, which includes an IP address, a subnet mask, the IP address for a default gateway, and most likely, the IP address for a DNS server. Now, let's take a look at each. The IP address allows for a device to communicate not only within its local network, but to other networks as well. And with the subnet mask, the IP address is made clearer during processes like routing. Now, the IP address for the default gateway usually points to a router, which stands as the entrance and exit for the local network. And finally, the IP address for the DNS shows where domain names can be resolved to IP addresses. With these basic parameters, it is now possible for a device to connect and share information on a network. So how did devices get their network configuration parameters before DHCP? The answer, the hard way. Before DHCP, it took trained professionals to configure devices to use a network. This process is not only laborious, especially for large environments with many devices, it is also prone to human errors. Just the slightest mistake will make a connection unworkable. So, how does DHCP actually work? When a device connects to a network for the first time, it broadcasts a discovery message seeking aid from any nearby DHCP services. Upon receiving the discovery message from the device, the DHCP service will reply with an offer containing network configuration parameters. But before the device can start using the parameters, it must reply with a request, upon which the DHCP service will send an acknowledgement confirming that the device is now free to do so. Here are some additional facts. The network configuration parameters which a device receives from a DHCP service are leased and must be renewed when the allotted time has expired. In the absence of a DHCP service, modern computers can assign themselves network parameters, which will allow communications within the local network, but not beyond. With the new version of the Internet Protocol, IPv6, which allow devices to auto-config, there may not be a need for DHCP services in the near future. So there it is, 5 facts about DHCP. Do you have a question or a fact you would like to add? Leave a comment below. And if you like the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing if you're not. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.